Hi gang, it's Brendan from Mini Mania, and today we're gonna go over the brand new version three of the Sprint Booster. For those of you who are not aware, the Sprint Booster is a power boost module that you can install in any car that has an electronic throttle. And basically what this unit will do is it will remap the signal from the throttle to the ECU to give you um, basically better acceleration. The Sprint Booster will help mitigate that uh, lag time and give you a really responsive uh, throttle. Now, the version 3 is a huge update on the version 2 that we've sold thousands and thousands of over the years. All versions of the Sprint Booster now can cover all automatic and manual transmissions in one unit. You just set it to the transmission that you have. Basically, it's plug and play. You install it, set your mode, and you go. The new Sprint Booster has a number of different modes. It gives you about nine different settings in the green setting. It gives you another nine settings in the red setting. Plus, it also adds in a throttle lockout mode and it also adds in a number of different settings for a valet mode. So it's definitely a huge improvement on the earlier model. We're going to show you how to install it on a Gen 2 Mini, an R59. This is a 2012 JCW Coupe. This installation is pretty much the same for all Mini Coopers. So if you follow along, we'll show you how to physically install it and then we'll show you how to set the modes. Okay, so the first step, uh, we're going to remove the throttle pedal and we've taken out our floor mat and I'm just gonna use a small flat bladed screwdriver. There's a little cap actually that sits over a Torx T30 screw here. So we're just gonna remove that. On some other models of Mini, this is actually an Allen head. On this particular model, it happens to be a Torx. So then in order to move, remove the pedal, we're gonna sort of lift it up a little bit and then we're gonna push it upward. There's a clip up at the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the side and we're going to release the throttle wiring harness. There's two clips on either side and you basically just need to get your fingers on it and pinch it to remove it. So this is the throttle pedal and it has been removed from the car. And basically in order to do that, all we did was we just disconnected uh, the wiring harness that uh, comes down and we just, there's just two clips on either side and you just disconnect it. And then this right here, this is the actual Sprint Booster itself. As you can see, it's basically uh, just a little dongle that goes right between your throttle pedal. And then the other side is gonna plug right back into your wiring harness. So this just goes in series between the pedal and the wiring harness, just like that. Okay, here is the new mode switch. As you can see, it's a lot different from the old one, which was basically just a single LED that uh, was also a button. And this one actually has a small display in the center and it's got buttons left and right for selecting. And it's also got a button down here. Uh, there is a light that comes on up here, and there is the ever important switch on the side here, this little tiny switch, and that basically is the first thing you're going to set because that's either going to be switched up like this for a manual transmission or down for automatic transmission. If you look on the back, you can see it either says AT or MT right here. So we have it switched to MT since this is a manual car, and what you want to do with this is your mode switch is gonna get plugged into the side of the Sprint Booster where it connects with the wiring harness, the factory wiring harness, just like that. See that? You get a nice positive click. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in this end into our, into our pedal. Sometimes you can't remove the pedal, sometimes you have to do this in the car, so it's a bit tricky. Um, now, especially with some of the BMW and especially with the Mini Cooper, you're gonna notice you're gonna have a, a plug that has a flat end and it, one that's got a curved end. It hasn't changed at all. Just make sure to match up the curved end with the curved end here and the flat end with the flat end here. And basically that goes just like this and you'll hear a click and there you go. So now we're just gonna basically reinstall our pedal and then we're gonna show you how to set the settings on your mode switch. Okay, so we have the pedal now has been uh, reinstalled and we've connected the other end of the Sprint Booster to our factory wiring harness. And now what we're going to do is we're basically going to do something with this cable. We're going we're gonna to tuck it away. We're going to get it out of the way of our pedal so we're not going to be stomping on it. And if you want, the Sprint Booster does come with a zip tie and it also comes with some double stick tape. You can put the double stick tape on the back of your mode switch and you can mount it somewhere on your dash if you have a convenient spot. If you don't want to do that, Basically, you can keep this loose, but I would still be very careful in routing the mode switch cable itself, just so you're not gonna be stepping on it. And if you eventually find a mode that you like, 
and you tend not to ever leave that mode, once that mode is set, you can disconnect this mode switch from the Sprint Booster and it will stay in that mode until you plug the mode switch back in and change the setting. Now that we have the Sprint Booster installed, I'm gonna start the car and what you should see is that the mode switch is gonna be basically in the very middle of both the green and the red modes. In other words, it'll be set at a five on the green and a five on the red. Let's start it up. Okay, so this is the mode um, with the Sprint Booster that's off. This is going to be basically your factory throttle. And again, you can select any one of these modes that you want for the different levels of aggressiveness, nine being the highest. You never want to actually activate the throttle when you're changing your modes. You want to set the mode and then you can touch the pedal. You never want to go from one to the other like that. Um, now I'm going to go to the sport mode maybe put it to about a six. And then that's uh, the mode that I'm gonna leave it in. And if this is a mode that I decided that I liked and I wanted to leave it in that mode, I could disconnect this whole mode switch from uh, our Sprint Booster and it would stay in that mode until I decide to plug the mode switch back in and then turn it off or change, it, change the setting to whatever else I wanted to uh, change it to. Now for the next steps, you're definitely going to want to read your user guide. In fact, you're going to want to read this back to forward um, before you do anything for this newest Sprint Booster because there's a lot of information in here and really you should, be, you know, should get familiar with this before you attempt an install. But you're definitely going to need this when you're going to go to set any of your pedal lock features or if you're going to set the feature for the valet mode. Right now, I'm going to show you how to set the pedal lock feature. So effectively, the pedal lock is basically going to lock out the pedal altogether. Even if uh, you know, somebody is able to start the car, they're not going to be able to get any acceleration because you've locked out the, the, the throttle. Okay, so now we're going to set this into the pedal lock mode. This is a security mode that locks out your accelerator, uh, your throttle pedal. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to press both of these um, arrow buttons at the same time for three seconds simultaneously until we get that little set center dash there. Then we're going to press one to go to the L for pedal lock and we're going to hit that button. Now that's blinking and it's going to be asking us for the first number of a pin. So I'm going to set the first one to the number zero and then I'm going to hit that button one more time, the bottom button. I'm going to set our second number of our pin to also a zero. And then that's asking for the third one and I'm going to do the same thing just to make it easy we'll make it triple zero and I'll set that. This is going to blink. Now if I wanted to cancel it, I could hit any button, but I don't want to cancel it. I want to set it so that it's going to be in pedal lock mode. Now that it's a solid L, we're not going to have any throttle pedal. And just to test that out, I'm going to start the car and see if I have any throttle. And I do not have any throttle. I'm pressing down on the throttle pedal right now. I'm locked out. As you can see, I wouldn't be able to go anywhere with this car unless I can enter in the three digit pin to deactivate it. So to deactivate the pedal lock, we're going to basically do the same thing that we did to put it into pedal lock. I'm going to hold both of these buttons for three seconds simultaneously. I'm going to wait for the dash. Once I get the dash, I'm going to enter in my first number of my pin, and then I'm going to enter in the second number, press the bottom button, I'm going to enter in my third zero, and so now I'm unlocked. So we'll just start the car, and we'll set it to, say, one of these settings and we'll give it a shot and we've got really good acceleration we're on a number six here on our red mode but as you can see we have full throttle control again now there's another mode that you can actually set that's really handy it's actually a valet mode and you can set uh, the valet mode on your sprint booster that will reduce the power output 
of your engine by either 55, 65, or 75 percent. So if you're the kind of person who leaves their car with other people and they take care of it and you don't want to, you know, give them access to all the power uh, on your car, you can set that to basically in almost exactly the same way as you set the pedal lock. We won't go through it here because there's a little bit of more programming, but it's basically the same way to set the valet mode as it is to set your pedal lock mode. Just make sure that you read your owner's manual front to back and uh, that way you'll be able to set it properly and if you have any questions you can give us a call. So visit us at minimania.com or www.sprintboostersales.com and order your Sprint Booster version 3 today. If you have any questions give us a call or send us an email and we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have.